This is the leaf of a spiny wood fern. Uh, it's a very delicate little fern, so you're going to want to take care when you're walking in the forest not to step on these. You can see that this one has actually already lost the end of its uh, leaf here. Um, but we can see that this one's really different from, for example, sword fern and deer fern. It's very pinnately divided, right? So if we look at each leaflet, this leaf again divides into more leaves, and then those leaves themselves have little uh, leaflets as well, and then those have a bit of toothing. So it's a very, very feathery looking fern. Uh, it's broad shape overall, kind of hard to see with this log, um, but it's broadly triangular in shape. Okay, so as we move towards the base of that stem, the leaves get, uh, or leaflets get longer and longer. In addition, in this bottom pair of leaflets, we can see that um, these, <laughs> I don't know what you'd call them, sub leaflets are longer uh, on the side that points towards the base, and then these are a bit shorter, which can be helpful if we're distinguishing from something like bracken fern. Um, it's a very small plant as well, so this one will really not get much taller than a foot or so, um, and it's not generally as locally abundant as something like deer fern. Oh no, I'm sorry, as something like bracken fern. <laughs>